I'd stuff my knickers with toilet roll or old socks and rinse them out and pump fruit washer and use them again. Or I'd, I'd use a sponge, I'd cut a sponge up and put that up and then wash it out and then reuse it. But you don't know what fibres you're leaving inside you that could be harmful to you. We have actually increased our provision times 15. We used to deliver around about three to 400 packs um, a month. And now um, since lockdown, since um, April, we've delivered like nine and a half thousand products. The, the lockdown has exacerbated the issue massively um, around poverty and around period poverty. The fact that um, there's been so many layoffs and so many people have lost their jobs not working uh, what we found is that as the food banks have increased with their work and the provision of food and um, essentials that that's the same for us i think right now we although we're moving forward we don't know what the future looks like just yet so i'm not sure that it's going to get better in fact with all the problems around the economy and the fact that people have been laid off and I think it's going to get much worse. Although the government gave free period products to all girls in all schools this year and the, the uh, policy kicked in, uh, the girls stopped going to school in February, March, um, so they didn't have access to those period products either. So it's kind of, um, it has been amplified, much so. With shutdown, with, with lockdown, um, you weren't going, well, people weren't going to school and I don't think girls, of, you know, who are menstruating are just going to go to school to pick up products because it's a massive stigma and taboo still around periods, you know, especially with, with young girls. So they're just going to be sitting at home just using toilet paper or whatever.